Greetings, I am Charles Albright, better known as the Eyeball Killer. Allow me to share my story with you. I was born in 1933 and would later become one of the most infamous serial killers in American history. My sinister acts earned me this chilling moniker, thanks to the gruesome nature of my crimes. My targets were primarily sex workers in Dallas, Texas, during the 1990s. I had a disturbing fixation on eyes, leading me to remove the eyeballs of my victims after their deaths. The macabre nature of my killings would haunt the community for years to come. Growing up, I had a troubled past marked by psychological disturbances. I had a propensity for violence and exhibited troubling behavior from an early age. It was clear that darkness resided within me, waiting to be unleashed. In the 1980s, I turned my violent fantasies into reality. I sought out vulnerable women, primarily sex workers, who often fell under the radar of society's attention. I would lure them into secluded areas where I carried out my sadistic acts. After ending their lives, I would carefully remove their eyeballs, as if possessed by an insatiable obsession. The mutilation of their bodies was an expression of my disturbed psyche, a way to exert control and inflict horror. The eyeball killer's reign of terror would eventually come to an end. In 1991, law enforcement apprehended me, and the truth about my monstrous deeds came to light. The evidence against me was overwhelming, connecting me to the murders and the grotesque removal of the victim's eyes. During my trial, I maintained my innocence, denying any involvement in these heinous acts. However, the weight of the evidence was undeniable. The jury saw through my facade and found me guilty of murder. As I faced my sentence, I became a haunting figure, evoking fear and morbid curiosity. I was condemned to spend the rest of my days behind bars, stripped of my freedom, but unable to escape the infamy that clung to my name. These are the facts of my life and crimes. While my actions caused unimaginable pain and terror, they also sparked a fascination with the darkest corners of the human psyche. Today, my name stands as a grim reminder of the horrors that can be perpetrated by those among us.